This YouTuber is one of these YouTubers that have been making content before YouTube even started. Yup, that's right. He even made his own documentary on how it all started for him. But as much as I want to focus on that, let's focus on the content that he has for us now. Cinemassacre is very well known from one specific character that's been around for years on this site. Yep, it's the angry video game nerd. It's actually a quite funny story on how I ended up liking this YouTuber. So for those who don't know, I used to like the IRA Gamer back in 2015, and I'd always have a friend who would always tell me, hey, you should watch the angry video game nerd. And I was like, nah. But around February 2016, I actually gave it a shot on trying to watch a couple of his videos, and here I was thinking, what the f have I been missing out on? And ever since 2016, I've started to watch as many AVGN episodes, and heck, I even made a review on his Mega Man episode. Wow, that's kind of weird, come to think about it. To put it simple, the Angry Video Game Nerd episodes have always been entertaining me. He's been on a roll recently with uploading these AVGN episodes frequently, so for anyone who's been wanting AVGN episodes more frequently and are waiting, well, you got quite a few videos to catch up on. But I think it's very well clear that I love watching the AVGN episodes. I actually even took the time to watch the AVGN movie. I haven't finished the movie yet because I've been so fucking busy working on this countdown. For anyone who hasn't seen that nerd, I suggest checking this short clip from an episode because, well, you've been missing out quite a lot. I know it's fake or choreographed or whatever, but how do you fake landing on somebody with 300 pounds of man ass? They were just flying through the air and just smashing each other with steel chairs and all that shit. But the nerd or James also makes other content. Let's see what other videos he makes on his channel. This is another one of his most popular series on his channel. While the series may have ended, it's still entertaining to look back and see what he's created for this series. For those who don't know what board games is, well, the name speaks for itself. Think of it as the nerd, but with board games. You put the tornado on the mountain, do it three times. Any more than three times is way too much because this thing will go flying and it'll kill somebody, you'll poke your eye out and die. Again, I did miss out when Board Dreams was around, but if he does ever come back for Board Dreams, I will make sure I won't miss out for that. With this series, he hangs out with Mike and plays some video games. This is basically your generic gaming video, so if you have some time to spare, then I suggest watching this series. There's also series like Mike and Ryan, which are the same concept but with different person. You also have Mike and Ryan Talks, which is basically talking about gaming news, so it's nothing really to expand on. We know off the bat that he makes a lot of gaming related content, but he also has his fair share of movie content. He makes movie reviews and all sorts of videos relating to movies. So if you love movies and games, well, I think I found your spot here because he does quite a lot of them frequently. For those who weren't around on his channel from last year and the years passed on, every October he would do a marathon called Monster Madness where he would go for 31 days of reviewing horror films. So if you're interested in watching some horror movie reviews, then go back in time and watch some Monster Madness because I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy them. If Board James isn't around, then I'd say that this series is another one of his most popular. He takes anything and makes it into a short rant. They're straight to the point and I've watched every single one of these episodes. Now they don't come out as frequent, but when they do, they always have the enjoyment that the last video left off on. And last, if you're looking for music and you're thinking, Thunder, does it make any music content? Well, today's your lucky day because he also has his fair share of videos relating to music. Basically, he has lists of music and recommends some music for you to listen to. It's quite straight to the point. Although, I haven't really seen many of these videos being uploaded, but I'm sure with all the content he's made on his channel, you'll find something that you'll like. Now, he also makes some short films, but they're quite widespread, so don't expect short films to come out as frequent, but he has them around on his channel. I'm glad to say that in about less than two months, I've watched his channel for two years. I was in the mindset of, I'll get around to this YouTuber in, in the deep future, but I'm glad I came here soon enough because James makes some amazing content and I can't wait to see what he has in store for the future. <laughs>